the summer of 1997. She wanted to rock the establishment and she wanted to rock Prince Charles. She just said, you'll be surprised what I do next. Yeah, we had it all. It was the new Diana. She was so beautiful. And the cameras just went mad. In that little black dress with the legs up to here. It was beyond royalty, beyond Hollywood. This was it. The walls came rumbling down. She knew exactly what she was doing. I am a hand grenade here. You have to be careful of me. Do you think Mrs. Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs> she was regarded as treacherous, as a traitor. Diana took a violent exception that her mother should talk about her divorce situation. It was a nasty phone call. Things were said which couldn't be unsaid. The first thing that Diana says is, isn't he drop dead gorgeous? It was Diana who was kind of gushing about this man. For sure. Hasnat Khan was the love of her life. She sneaks him into Kensington Palace under a rug in the back of a car. It was a disaster waiting to happen. Dodie always liked beautiful women. And she was attracted to handsome guys. There was a great sexual attraction. Suddenly, after all this time, she found passion. It was all incredibly exciting for her. The private jets, the helicopters, the properties around the world. Hello. She had a good time. Diana often did say that she felt that her boys were not really hers because they belonged to the royal family. The one thing she feared in life was losing her children. She had nowhere to really go that summer. Suddenly, she was becoming a divorced woman, losing everything. The princess called you on the day she died. Yeah. Tell us about that. Now, 20 years after the death of the most famous woman in the world, go on the final journey of Princess Diana's remarkable life. A life you don't yet know. This is it. Everything starts. The last 100 days of Diana. Sunday, May 7th at 9 8 Central on ABC. Leading us on.